In this video, I want to give a creative testing strategy inside of Facebook ads that will effectively help you lower your cost per purchase, cost per lead, any kind of cost per result, and it'll also help combat high CPMs. Um, everyone or a lot of people are experiencing high CPMs right now, so this should help you kind of cool those down and give you a really good way to test ad creatives effectively. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build out a campaign as if I was doing it for myself and what I would do if I were trying to combat high CPMs, get better quality leads, lower cost for results. And I'll show you how I do that here. So first things first is I usually like to have a separate testing campaign, um, whether it's creative testing as a whole, testing everything across the board, ad copy, creative, headline, whatever, um, audiences. But in this case, I'm just gonna name this campaign testing as far as audiences go, I'm going to try to pick an audience that I know works, some kind of proven audience. Um, if you're doing this for the very first time, and maybe you don't have a proven audience, I think an easy way to go is to do a lookalike of your email list, a lookalike of buyers, or go a little bit broader. You know that if something works on broad as far as getting attention, it's going to work on a more narrow audience. And a lot of the times if you start to go narrow at the beginning, you're just limiting Facebook and limiting the learning curve that it has to go through. This point right now is just to prove out creatives and get things at a low cost. If you then start to struggle with bad leads, then you can go to that next step. But trying to solve everything at once becomes quite difficult. It can be done, but it's usually a lot easier and it tends to be a bit cheaper doing it this way as well. So you'll start with some kind of proven audience. And then from there, what you're gonna do is you're going to have your first creative, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna test these each in different ad sets, ideally. So I'm just gonna duplicate out a couple of these. So let's just say I'm doing four to start, right? And in each one, you'll have a different creative. So you have creative one, two, three, and four. So you have different creatives, each one, one ad per ad set, four ads, four ad sets total. This is ideally how I like to structure my creative tests. Um, because you can actually get very specific data on which creative is actually working. If you bunch them all up, it can be a little bit tough to figure out what's working, what's not. However, the next thing that you can do if you wanna take it a step further, because sometimes there's different creatives that you can use um, that are very, very similar and they're still worthwhile testing, but they're close to each other, they're similar. It's a, it's a similar kind of batch. So for example, let's say this one, this first batch of creatives is going to be um, like just people getting on a jet and I have examples of these, right? So for example, let me just pull a image real quick. So for example, I've got a lot of creatives that look like this, right? People getting on jets, private jets, stuff like that. So I'll use this one to start. But for example, what you could do if you wanna test a little bit quicker and you wanna conserve your budget, you would have these creatives grouped based off what they actually are. So you have your proven audience, your first creative one, and then you can do the same thing here, but you can do creative 1.1 jet. And what you could end up with is across the board on all four of these ad sets, I'd recommend no more than four creatives per ad at the beginning, but you could have something that looks like this. Your proven audience, three creatives from the same group that are very similar looking per ad set. So each ad set will have three ads. Um, you'll have a total of nine creatives across the board, nine different ones that you're testing, but they're all pretty similar within each bucket. This is a great way if you have a ton of creatives, like if you wanna test 10 of them really quickly, essentially, um, is to basically group them this way versus doing one ad per ad set. Now I am a fan of doing one per ad set, because the, the budget is at 100% evenly distributed to that one creative. In this case though, let's say your budget was 20 bucks a day, Facebook's gonna pick and choose which creative the budget goes to. Sometimes based on performance, sometimes based on just what Facebook is feeling like or what those initial conditions have looked like. So a lot of the time that can be kind of annoying because if you want each one of these to get a certain amount of spend, Facebook could spend $10 a day on this one um, five dollars and then another ten on this one and then spend nothing on this third creative so then you actually have no idea whether that third creative is actually doing well however 
how I like to think about it is when you're doing these creative tests this way, where they're more grouped together, it's not so much in this group about figuring out which specific creative works. It's about determining which group of creative works, what type of creative works, not the specific image or video itself. So then what you could do is like, let's say, I'll just duplicate this one out one more time. And let's say this other batch was, I don't know, AI creatives, right? So you could do literally the exact same thing where you've got another three creatives and these are AI. And let's say Facebook does spend $20 between these two and it doesn't spend anything here and same with this one. But if you can tell that overall the jet images are doing better than your AI ones, then you have a great plan of attack for what to do next. Hey, I'm gonna go and make more jet type images and then test those separately to see how I can improve them. A lot of the times when you're testing these separate ones too, they could be very small changes. So it could be this exact same image just with a headline up here, just with th or three different headlines, right? Or it could be just this image here, but you crop out the jet or you completely blur the person versus unblurring, so on and so forth. Lots of small different nuances to test, but it's a great way to take this. And this could be a $80 a day budget, which isn't too bad, or even a $10 a day budget between all of these, which would be a $40 a day budget. Um, and that would be another really great way to test it. Not super expensive, but you're testing a big uh, width of creatives across the board. So if this was helpful, let me know in the comments and let me know if you have any questions. If you want more specific feedback, join the Predictable Profits Mastermind. It's 100% free. You can join it right below in the description. When you join, you get free access to this Ads Mastery Bootcamp. In this bootcamp, there's tons of free trainings and there's my KPI cheat sheet, which shows you what metrics that you should look at, how you should influence them and how to influence them to get better results. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.